Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I wanna teach you how to draw a press snap. Now a press snap is really useful. It's used on a few different garments. So for example, if it was on a jacket, you'd use it in place of a zipper. All right then, let's get started. Here, I've just dragged in an image of a press snap. So you can see all the different components. So as I've said before, there's four different parts. You've got the covering, the female part, and then you've got the male part. We're only gonna draw these three today. The fourth one is just another backing. If you first go to your Eclipse tool, and then draw a circle and hold Shift to ensure that the scale is balanced. From here, I'm gonna copy and paste my eyelet from my previous tutorial. If you haven't seen that tutorial, click the link down below, I'll leave a link there. So you can go and watch that. So I'm just rescaling the eyelet and moving them across. So from here, if you draw a diagonal line, I'm just using my pen tool, and then I'm gonna to go to the stroke box and change the weight of it to five. From here, I'm gonna copy and paste the line and drag it across. So you've got two diagonal lines. I'm gonna highlight them and then I'm gonna use the close bracket with command and send it to the back. Okay, so that's the female part of it done. Okay, so now we're gonna make the male part. First draw a circle and then go to your strokes tool. We're actually gonna do the ridged bit on the inside first. So go to your strokes tool and put a dashed line on the stroke. From here, you can change the weight of the line. Go for about 18, just gonna make it smaller. Holding shift, make sure the scale is in line. So now I'm gonna change the dash and the gap. So I'm gonna go for two and four. That basically creates the ridges. So now I'll draw a small inner circle Oh, it's done it with a dashed line. So if you just use your eyedropper tool by pressing I, you can copy the internal and the line of another object. So now I'm gonna copy and paste this and make it larger. And then I'm gonna send this object to the back. So as you can see, this kind of creates the male version of the press snap. So now we need to make the ridge. If you copy and paste your circle that you've just done. I'm also going to change the line on the outside of the circles and then get rid of the internal film. Then if you go to object, path and then outline stroke, this outlines your stroke and you can just eyedropper tool your fill in. I'm just going to do some small little adjustments like making the male parts smaller and centralizing them. So vertical and horizontal alignment. So now I'm just gonna make some final adjustments and just play with the gradients and the fill on the inside. So basically, that is your press snap done. How would you apply these to a garment? So, I've already got a coach jacket that I've drawn before, as you can see here. If you just zoom in, you can see there are the press snaps on the front and on the pockets. And then I've done a small sketch where you can see the opening. I've drawn a line in so then you can see the female part as well. And also the cord, aglets and eyelets are also on this garment. Okay, so that's everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and hopefully you know now how to draw a press snap. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe by clicking that beautiful red button. You can also follow me on social media. Instagram's Anthony James London with no H in that Anthony. Also check out my Etsy shop where you can go and download the file, the final product of all the trims and details that I'm gonna be teaching you over the next few episodes. I'll leave a link to my Etsy and my Instagram in the comment section below. All right, that's everything. Okay, thanks, bye. Tra, 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 tra. Bye.